we announced a $10 billion JV along with Humane, which is the recently announced company by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to drive artificial intelligence and make sure that they you know, build an AI strategy, not only for the kingdom, but also for the global audience, I would say. It's super exciting for us to be at Jitex. This is our fifth year of participation. We've done multiple announcements. We've talked about some of the announcements that we've made, including we've signed an MOU with Kernel, which is the first made in UAE server platform that is manufactured in United Arab Emirates. We've signed an MOU with uh, EAN and we've also signed the first cybersecurity initiative with CPX in Abu Dhabi. Thank you so much for uh, having me. My name is uh, Zaid Rattas. I am the general manager of AMD across Middle East and Africa. Again, thank you very much um, for having me again. Of course, of course. So, uh, Ali, in the, the region for, for AMD is a, is, a, is a very special region. Uh, and, and we work very, very closely with a lot of the, the, the major customers um, across the different verticals. Of course, we work you know, in the banking and in the healthcare and the public sector and so on and so forth. A couple of months ago during the, the presidential visit, uh, during the, the Trump's visit, we announced a $10 billion JV along with Humane, which is the recently announced company by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to drive artificial intelligence and make sure that they you know, build an AI strategy, not only for the kingdom, but also for the global, um, the global audience, I would say. And that announcement was, as I mentioned, um, a $10 billion joint venture that we're jointly building together to build an AI capacity, not only for the kingdom, but also for the, the, the global uh, citizen. Right? And so we're working very, very closely with Humane to really make sure that we, we paint a, an artificial intelligence strategy and a, a strategy and a vision to bring in um, AI to the hands of you know, citizens across the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. That matches pretty much um, the vision 2030 to make sure that they enhance the, the, the living of, of all of the citizens and the, the, the residents and the, the, the citizens in, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now, that's one pillar. The other pillar is we work very closely with, uh, with the Abu Dhabi government under the leadership of uh, His Royal Highness uh, Sheikh Tahnoun bin Zayed and, and His Highness as well Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid um, on building a, an AI capacity in, in, in UAE. Um, what I have been seeing over the past few days during Jitex is United Arab Emirates is not contributing to AI only, but they're helping building and painting a vision of artificial intelligence. We you know we've seen the launch of Core 42. Core 42 has been a significant partner to build an AI capacity, not only on, on, the, on the, the infrastructure piece, but also on the software layer piece. And that's what really keeps us excited to really build you know, those partnerships and make sure that we bring AI to the hands of, of everyone in, in the country. Certainly, I mean, we're seeing Ali the overall demand on compute across, you know, multiple segments, right? From, you know, uh, banking all the way to government, public sector, and, and even the consumer space, right? There's a significant demand on, on compute, and it's continuing to um, increase over the next couple of years. And our primary job at AMD is to make sure that we increase the performance and make sure that we also maintain the power consumption to, to a lot of our customers. And, you probably remember we've had a conversation a couple of uh, weeks ago on the uh, on the overall density as well as the power consumption. So we anticipate that this is going to continue to happen, right? On, on on the CPU side, on the GPU side, of course, it, it's a power hungry equipment, and it's going to continue to be a power hungry equipment. So um, our anticipation is to really work on the product development piece to make sure that we are delivering to a lot of our customers a the most sustainable. Um, environment and friendly solutions to our customers, partners, and our OEMs, the likes of, you know, HPE, Dell, Lenovo, Supermicro, Cisco, and the rest of the the the, 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 the OEM community. I would say. So, Ali, the um, AI boom have started, let's say, 24 months ago. And a lot of the nations have been trying to figure out what to be done with artificial intelligence, right? We've seen um, major significant announcements that's been made over the past couple of months. You know, we've talked 
you probably have talked about the open AI announcements and there's a lot of other announcements and they're all talking about gigawatts and gigawatts of capacity that is currently being built, right? Now, a lot of the enterprises are trying to, um, are working very, very closely with their internal stakeholders to build specific use cases around artificial intelligence, right? And to make sure that they understand, you know, how to commercialize it. So at the, at the first step and the initial step, there is a lucrative return on investment by deploying artificial intelligence. I mean, we can clearly see ChatGPT as, as an initial step, right? It was the foundation of making life easier, right? And I'm just talking about a consumer tool that is you know, being used by you and me and by our children and, and families at home, right? You can see that the amount and the time that has been dramatically reduced in research and development, right? I mean, right now I can write you a story and I can write you a script. And that by itself, I mean, is a significant return of investment, right? Look at it from a broader perspective, including, you know, healthcare, payroll, you know, the financial transactions. You know, imagine if you look at the transactions being reduced from 10 hours to one hour. And that by itself is a significant return of investment. And we're gonna see that being, you know, replicated across different industries, whether it's education, healthcare, um, you know, and, and so on and so forth, right? So, ROI is being justified. Um, corporations are working very, very closely to make sure that they build a very successful return of investment case. And we can clearly see at the face of it, ChatGPT is a great example. And Microsoft Copilot is another example, right? It has reduced the amount that you and I are spending on certain tasks dramatically. And that by itself is a great signal to really drive a, a, a very much compelling return of investment. Of course, of course. Um, now we keep talking about you know countries and governments building an artificial intelligence capacity, right? And of course, everybody is looking forward to get their hands on accelerators and GPUs because it's you know the, the, the workloads are getting more intense. There's a lot of video, um, audio, analytics speeds, right? And so. In parallel to that, our vision and our strategy at AMD is really to make sure that we drive an edge to cloud strategy, right? Edge, which is basically, you could do a lot of the inferencing piece on the edge, right? And, and you don't need to be connected to the data center at all times. And there's a lot of multiple use cases that you can do edge AI, where you can do facial recognition, you can video analytics, and, and so on and so forth at the edge. And we have a product which is called Ryzen AI that is an extremely powerful AI PC that we're making it available to, you know, to the wider population to make sure that it becomes a mainstream in terms of consuming AI at the edge rather than only just doing the data center piece. Edge AI is a very, very important um, um, strategy that we're driving um, within our directions.